the gate of spawn here and away we go. Hampus with a bit of utility. Joining him will be Twist and over towards B is where the attack will likes to coming on through as Mir is going to get boosted up very, very early. Aggressive peak. This could be a great start as the head goes off for Plopski. And NIP lose one of their heaviest hitters straight away. Look, it stalled them out immediately. They've just gone, okay, uh, new plan. Maybe we'll uh, work on a, a different direction, a different take. Hampus is posted up in spawn, waiting to see if anybody wants to push towards A, but unfortunately for him, Chopper is all the way over towards Ticket with Idis Balance in tow. I like the four-man stack B early on a pistol round. Like, I definitely would rather be retaking A on a pistol than retaking B. Mm. So stacking up early, still have three players there. Idis Balance, of course, returning to his times, and looks like there will be plenty of flashbangs coming over. SDY not vulnerable, Magix is, so he's forced to tuck in. Mir, visibility present. Nork, not dead yet, finally. Does lose his head. Rez, though, his P250 looking precise. Magic's from the kitchen. Hampus keeps NIP in it, and they have managed to claw their way into a plant. Both previous games of the Pro League, they've won their pistol on the CT side. They could do with that again here to start things off. Twist. Ouch. Goodbye. Disbalance back on it, but position noted for Cho Oh, my good lord, Hampus. 7 HP, Lauren. Oh, they're both in a terrifying predicament. Hampus is bleeding, by the way, so he's trying to play the timing. Left. Right, let's right side, Disbalance has him. Well played by Disbalance, has the kit as well, of course, so it makes things a little bit easier. And the pistol continues. And I loved the X-ray toggle rush. You've got the perfect read on when we shouldn't be seeing in that 1v1. I think that's so cool. You suddenly realize just how little information Hampus was working with. That was the first frag, but it did get a bit sketchy despite Mir's contributions. And that's thanks to Hampus. Let's see where that second frag came from. Just a real quick one, actually on towards the kitchen, and then you just watched his last duel go down. You can see just balance playing it to perfection and with just enough time to spare, he even had a kit as well. There's Mir, haven't seen too much from him. Good to see he keeps his desk nice and tidy. I love how they use him aggressively. We were talking about this on train the other day when we saw Spirit, he likes to get forward and towards that Olaf position for openings on the pistol round on the CT side. Hyper aggressive to find them a big opening to kick off. He got the plant, map. right? Yeah, yes. they did. That's the so. AKs, that's the Galils. You've even got two smoke grenades. Certainly not out of the realms of possibility for the ninjas. No, and, and, and as much as this is the ninja's pick here, and obviously they're a map down, the overall story of Spirit on this map still is in very much the forefront of my mind, is I haven't got to see much of their CT side because they've normally been kind of backhanded by the time we get here, but I am I worry this is a real weakness for them against higher-end teams, so this could be an excellent pick for NIP, but we'll see yet. That does come through. A very cautious start for ninjas, though. No real risks being taken, a mid-take slowly building, and the CT staying very much posted to site. Well, so far in today's series, Team Spirit haven't dropped a CT-sided round. So let's see how see long that. they can keep a clean sheet for. Hey, Chad, that is a very astute observation. Let's see. Whew, Plopsky's making things difficult for disbalance. He couldn't even react. Perhaps caught glancing at the radar. The CT smoke arrives on their position. It does look like they're posturing for a commitment B and short. Second smoke to join the pile. There's only 30 seconds left, so now the Moloch he's arrived. They've done so well to make space. Look at Hampus. Burns down to 22. There's nades from Magix, wow. bullets from Magix. they got 20 seconds, Lauren. They have to commit. These smokes on short were so good. Magix is playing a great game here. Showing some real proficiency on B, and Nork isolated on his own, bombs up there, finds a way forward. And now they pour to sight. Rez picks up the pieces, looking good for NIP as they pour through Kitchen. Jinxed it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, Valley, you get that one. You jinxed it. Uh, I don't believe in. Cursed. Don't cursed. believe. I don't believe in voodoo. If it was real, if you watch Princess and the Frog, maybe you would. <laughs> I've seen some spells in my time, Alex. Nothing that seems to have uh, panned out long term. Short term has held some people at bay, kept them uh, behind the fence. But we've seen them lash back out. I know you've you've witnessed it firsthand. Yeah, rock paper scissors and all that. All right, so they want to force back of their own here. And Ooh, I do love the rush. I do love that fast push from the CTs because I even if there's no bloodshed, I just love the fact that if they start their walk, which they will, they'll be able to call B clear. I bet Rush was sat there in the observing room like, he loves me. <laughs> oh. Just push. Look at this. That, this is going to get SDY and disbalance proper tucked in on A. 
I could see how it could unravel to potentially being like, oh, could find the bomb. Could, you, you, there's, it, it could ravel that way. It, it feels unlikely as the kill's obviously coming in towards the rifles. Some Young still posted up very deep, doesn't want to overcommit. Bye bye, Ampus. <laughs> Reads it really well. This is nicely done so far by the ninjas. We wrecked last night on Vertigo, didn't we, Alex? We were owning those guys. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely are Vertigo Globals at this point. They were pretty tilted at us. Yeah. Or was that the guys on Swamp? Uh, but no, it was the Swamp guys that got released. Oh, they left after they, they abandoned. It, it was, I swear to God, Chad, the one I played with Stunner and Moses and Hank uh, yeah. after, we um we had exactly the same thing. They, they kicked one of their teammates oh. about the same time. Oh, yeah. And then they abandoned, no, then someone left at the 11th to 11 0 oh. scoreline and then they forfeit. So we had two 11 0 victories on Swamp. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'm the problem. I'm telling you, Swamp's legit. It fun. is a fun map. In isn't Halvor, it? we're That's doing these, really like, we, 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 I'm not, stop talking about. Schwan Palex, there's a Counter Strike game happening. But yeah, the mid You're control, okay right and you know that B house thing, you go down. Yeah. You actually started fighting much lower. Like I'd go, you know, the little window bit drop down, so you're yes. kind of on yes. A, but support yeah. in middle. I yeah. feel like I could pivot I've seen so you nicely. Up there a fair bit with the AWP, right? Yeah, I, I was trying not to explain that to you guys because I wanted all the kills when we were playing yeah, with Claudia the other night. Spot. Yeah, I was like, really, I, if really. I play this, I I'm can help here. everybody. I can just batter everyone. I think it's, got, I think it's got merit. Can Chad, just for, so that people can use their opinion and, and present your opinion as their own in future. Uh, conversations they sure. have. What's your opinion on Swamp as a competitor? I, I think that? obviously with a, a, a few more tweaks, it needs to be played out and see how it goes with teams who actually know what they're doing. But I like the layout. I think the layout offers something different that we don't see in any other competitive map at the moment. Um, so with it, you know, getting obviously we're going to have some issues with the agent skins. I get to, I play the, the greenest boy possible. I didn't think so. About there's, that. A, <laughs> there's a couple of dramas he there. Is the swamp creature. Um, but I, I thought the layout was really cool. I think it offers up some unique fights, some interesting takes, and and, and with that B house that we're talking about, it could be a great map. It's really interesting seeing an almost circular map. Keep in mind this is just an A stack. The T's are being quite meticulous. Uh, so let's, not, be a... let's stop telling them. Let's just talk. All right. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's interesting seeing a circular quote unquote map design where you can kind of As flank around each other. Lanes. Exactly. And it still applies to three lane map design too, because you still have the middle section and then the three lanes on either bomb site in a way, which is quite interesting. It's, and I hate to say it, it's a very Call of Duty modern era map style. It might which play quickly. That's the it would. thing. That's yeah. why when I was running with the UMP SMGs, it's it's super viable. And like on B, Chad, you can do what me and Hank have worked out. You used to do an incendiary to stop their rush on the. Mm. the your entrance way, you can boost up and be flanking them as well. Like you have to, res it's very, options you, you sure. have a real boring, oh. slow <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Hey Rush, while you're watching this, what did you make of Swamp? You played it for the first time last night. I thought it was pretty cool. I played um, A Long, I believe that area of the map was cool. That's where Lauren was playing. Big open played. area. Good. I don't think they made it through A Long one time. No. So I, I was pretty happy with did that. Did you find the ratty spot near the pier that comes out of like CT spawn? It's like on the left side, you can jump oh, down yes. with a scout, get just a little headshot angle. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I it's found a big spot. ratty spot, isn't it? It was nice. It's real nice. Are you guys liking these, uh, this, this third person? I kind of like this. I feel like we're playing GTA I, or something. I literally played in a million dollar tournament that observed the majority of the kills like this. So for me. That's the way to go, in my yeah. opinion, you know, I like it. Yeah, if only we had like a team jersey on his team model. Jersey. We got Fatality and DJ Wheat commentating. Absolutely no way to possibly appreciate the ability of the game. Honestly, do you know what though? I'd really like a client side or spec side uh, jersey. It could be done. I'd like that. We have the, we have. For branding purposes. We have the Vlads in the back room who cool. can make it. The like, I don't want like the you know, that style that you had of no, just no, like no. glowing. But ridiculous. the problem with that, Lauren, is Volvo, they don't like things being tweaked within the maps in, in too much. Uh, the Star Ladder like... Major, they got to have all the branding in them. Ghibli yes, Bobblies. Yes. But imagine just like a cool like NIP, I don't know, glove design that you can see some on Some people it have something. done some great mock-ups of those. I saw them, they're brilliant. Right, we have a gun round though, so I'll keep my eyes on this and we'll get back to talking big, big picture afterwards as it looks like Hampus has gone quite far ahead here now bear in mind the other T's of course are over towards ramp pouring through towards a no contest thus far spirit looking a little broken on this already nice little trade out in middle though but the threat on a still continues it certainly does the smokes won't last for forever disbalance is going to wait for his vision to return bomb down though upon oh another flash they really do not want to give him any way back in no kidding they're playing retake yeah, but look how open they are. They have to duel. That shot is necessary. And if they find magics as well, suddenly all attention is gazed towards the CT. And oh. Twist with 3 HP makes it count in both. Large delivery from Twist, a quad kill in the round, but the last two with just a scrap of health remaining. Very precise shots from the ninjas. And of course, you can see what that's done to the CTs. Team Spirit will not be presenting a full buy. 
if any, by we Chopper, have, zero ADR. We have seen uh, Twist have up in some magical moments, right? He's a, an impact player in the sense of he can have one round where he just tears you apart. You know, he could be quiet for the entire game and then just goes absolutely bonkers. We've seen it many, many times over his career. He's a very tenured player. Uh, but here, Team Spirit are down to just the Deagles. They're not going to be too happy with this one. And something that we need to reiterate, if you are just joining us, Team Spirit and their T side has been extremely underwhelming. So the CT side, they would be hoping to get roughly nine rounds. So they need to turn it around when we do get the guns back out in just a few. They need to stop and stem that bleeding ASAP. And not the Deagles. Well, with a bit of potency, with a multi-kill, maybe that would be the first place to start. They've stalled NIP out towards middle. Slowed them down with one of their own smokes. There's no rush for the ninjas. They've got a lot of money in the back pocket. And something we have noted from the complexity and vitality games against Spirit in the past is Spirit's uh, ability to want to play retake and late round retake on that A site. So if NIP want to abuse that, I'll give you a couple of little examples of what we might see. A executes where they don't use a huge amount of utility and save for second and third waves to hold the CTs back as they should just mince away the remainder of these pistols. As we get a little bit of nuke, I just bounce. Of course, he was marvelous. Does do well to find res. We pull it down to a 3v3. Uh, bombs down middle. This yeah, is dangerous. Hold on. Uh, uh, this is, there's a lot of players in window as well, a lot of deagles that can do some damage. Twist going to be maybe called upon again to put up some bigger numbers here because there's problems afoot. Yeah, I don't know what he's hopes to get away with here. He does well to transfer into one, but continuing to get pressured. Chopper to be hunted now and Hampus to clutch. 25 seconds. He's actually opting for the window and the oh. fight is his. Saved by the Hampus. A clutch and a necessary one to keep the fifth alive. The damage though done with just the Deegs, it does do very little in the grand scheme of things, but it's so close. Let's see how this starts to spiral. That was 11k for Rez in the bank before he bought there. That was wild stuff. You can see here, Magic's having to turn away from the flash. It was never going to be getting Hampus in the position in the way that he's thrown it. So closing that one out with ease. And now, as I was mentioning, Spirit need to come online. They're already five rounds in the hole. To get a gun round on the board in the beginning of this. Oh. It's not going to help, is it? I just balance you're banking on him doing something with that AWP. Needs to be an instigator in this. It's not a good map for Spirit. It is a very punishing pick for them after what we saw on Nuke especially. It gave you hopes, high hopes. And now it makes you feel like a third map. It's probably quite likely, but it's so early in the game, but... I just haven't seen much back from Spirit. Now Twist getting so much freedom. That one smoke towards jungle, keeping him ever so safe. Lol. Nork. You must have had a little line oh, there. Yeah. Tiny little gap. Counts as a smoke shot. Here's Mir doing what Mir does best. Just a multi-kill out of nowhere. Now Nork and Twist to clutch up. They have time. There is absolutely no rush here, and Disbalance already plucking away his teammate. Nork's in a real dire straight here. This is what they needed. They need to keep all three as well alive. Don't forget that they are Ooh. poor. Nork burning just as he jumps for info. And with the bomb on his back, this is a real nasty situation. The longer he waits, the further this flank comes from really locking the door behind him. He needs should... one of these, doesn't he? Surely Spirit don't give it Could to him. Could be me, you know. You reckon? Like they're giving him so much space that if he glances at ramp one, Ooh, nice and precise. Get the orb, get the orb, get the orb, get the orb, get the orb. Oh, jeez. If I'm out of disbalance, that's what I'm yelling. Uh, like, as the, like, get me the bloody orb, all right? But I need it. Give me my weapon. I need it, and I need it now. And he has it. So everyone's cool. Just be cool. Just be cool. Just be Are you cool, bro? Uh, that's, that, that, what was that, 2018? I think yeah. it was 2018 Dallas. That was such a fun event. That was a good time. Oh, do you remember we could travel? Oh, we had the players around us and we could talk to them anytime. <laughs> we That's where we spoke to Simple, and Simple was like, I don't all window on Mirage. Why would I? I'm smoked out every round. Yep. Makes sense. Some validation. Nothing being given. It's a perfect window smoke. SDY was hoping to exploit. But as it fades, he does gain just a little bit. You can see. Flash is really coming. He calculated this well. What's oh, a re-smoke? Are they going to boost into window here? Because SDY might be in a bit of trouble if they try to do exactly that. Is Chopper actively holding? No, he's not. He's miles away. Absolutely miles away. Mir's oh, nade. Great nade. Looks destined for great greatness. Nade. Damn, that hurts. That's over 100 damage inflicted. Oh, and even more as he toasts up two Swedes. Roasted. Dinner yet to be served. Bombs loose. Way back at the top. And Plopsky does get set up for su success. That's SDY gone. And the options in the world is their oyster at this point. They can pick up the bomb. 
They're smoking off Con. Can walk themselves up towards either of the available sites. So B split now as we see the bomb going through the apartments on the radar in the back of Rez. Plopsky jumping back up into the vent room, meaning he'll be able to help up Catwalk. And look how much pressure this is going to put on Magix. His is all gamble, alone. Yeah. He's on a massive island right now. Well, it's a tiny island, actually. Whew, no fun for Magix. He does play this position very well, though. You saw how he did it with the MP9. Now he's even got the silenced M4. Maybe the silencer as well could... Ooh, they're flashing and pivoting. They want to go somewhere else. What's going on here? Now they taking the fight. They take down one on A. That's they it. found Magix. The round is over. Maybe someone going to go and try and recover this balance's AWP, and this round will be a flawless one. Oh, cheeky. Chopper just grabs it out of the sight, and ooh, it will be spotted. So they'll know where they are, and look, the hunt is on. Twister's already trying to contain. He's in spawn. He knew one. Oh, yeah, well, that's the funnest one. And oh. Twister's going to take away one gun. Chopper, he's in a lot of trouble here. It's going to be <laughs> poor old Chopper. difficult for him to hold on to this. There's two other T's gallivanting over right now. Plopsky and Nork are coming through connector. They might try and isolate him. There's still roughly 20-ish seconds after the mm. plant has gone down. This is going to be nearly oh, impossible to save here. Yeah. He's screwed. Yeah. They're just going to all be pushing at the same time. He's got to bolt his rifle. I mean, there is, should be no universe where... You can get more than one. Not even that. Plofsky takes his head clean off. That is a spotless round from the ninjas in pajamas. Revitalized on their T side. And it is worth reminding one more time, I will reiterate, that the weakness identified was not that in, in the defense of Team Spirit. Certainly not out of the realms of possibility that they've tidied things up. But if they want to remain competitive here on NIP's pick, you are going to have to see this close to, closer to an 8-7 than this is currently shaping up to be. The T side is not one they can rely upon. I think if we if we look at some positives, it's quick. Yeah. You know, then they're not going to have... No, 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 seriously. I mean, like I know, you'd team, rather right? have a 16... Yeah. Zero, not even zero, but you know what I mean? A, a quick and then a arduous task, right? I feel like if they felt that they were in the game and they thought, oh, man, we should have converted that one or we lost this clutch or this one just didn't go in our way, uh, then they would carry that through to the third map, whereas if they just get... Uh, I know it sounds stupid. If they just get blown out of the water here, like right now, 6-2 uh, is gone. Stupid. It's not the end of the world. We've seen them battle back, but as you rightly pointed out, Lawrence, through their T sides, which is more of a war of attrition of beating down the economy, not easy to do on the CT side. I mean, the irony being, it's not even ironic, but the, the problem being that the reason we didn't know about their CT side, if it is an issue or not, is because they simply haven't had much to play on it because they often lose before they get to the meat of things. So it, it could be a, a bigger issue than expected. What is their veto normally? What do they always take out? Vertigo. Okay, so they, I guess it's just not within their map. You know. oh, okay. So what are the, let's, let's take a look at just the two rounds that they've posted on the board so far, right? One of them was the pistol. So this is playing into what Alex was talking about with the stat lines of them over here in Pro League. 38% was it, Alex, in terms of full, full, buy. full buys? So uh, what we put is a bit of a threshold on that. SEO, our stats guy, he actually gave me the number for that the other day. Let me see if I can quickly <sighs> rummage, jiggle and jumble. Keeping in mind, discussing their T-side, they had only won eight rounds over their two previous games on their T-side. Yeah. So... That, it, it does prove to point that simply put, they're just, they're not on this map. Oh, I don't have Ben's name saved in my phone. Sorry, uh, Ben, I'm going to save it now. I'm really bad at saving names in my phone. Okay, so he's made up some small adjustments to the map stats. I should have really told everybody this, shouldn't I? Um, he's removed some of, the, some of the useless stuff. He's added in a full buy win percentage, which is 20k plus equipment value versus the 20k plus equipment value. So that's what he's considering a full I see, buy so you around. I see it there in the top of your screen. That's yeah. a 26 or 27. 27. So, yeah. so that level of investment means both teams are on what, what Ben is considering a full buy. And this is very difficult to do, ladies and gentlemen, because there's so many other factors to consider. You have you two know. warps, which brings yeah. you up to 10K. Right, and then, yeah. right. So this is just something like a, like a safety net that we're putting in place. The anti-eco win percentage, which we were talking about before, which is uh, their win percentage versus 12K equipment value or less. And uh, they're forced by win percentage, uh, which is with 12k or less equipped. So we saw Simple trying something similar here, where he sits exactly here and then using their smoke against them. Look at this angle. He's about to have the element of surprise. Two of them as it fades. He can even get a third unless Nork plucks him from this roost. And now we see the frag chance for Mir. He only gets the one, but getting away with his life is enough. Damage done. Chopper onto Hampus as well. They have held the wolf from the door, but that's only in middle. In the meantime, Twist has exploited the gap. Chopper aware that this is a vulnerability. Tucked in on Sandwich for now. Utility limited. They won't be able to incendiary that out anytime soon. So we can chill. And Nork and Plopsky are on their way to convert over towards A. Twist likely going to be the first to take some contact here. He only has the flashbang. Smoke available on his teammate Nork. Currently going to try and vie for some control of this palace position. Chopper 
just tucked in on that close corner. SDY on the stairs. They've got time here. Who's going to step a foot wrong first? That's the first. Now with Chopper gone, Another they can one. really go for the 3v5 here. Klopski to plant, safe, uncontested. Twist pushed up, denying jungle. Nork in the palace position to oversee. And oh, Klopski didn't even consider it. That is a colossal find. Mir going to be happy with that one. Nork needs to find the equalizer, but swinging out is a risk. They have a smoke for his position or the bomb. Oh dear, this gets awkward now. This is really awkward now. Need the first thing, does find it. Time not on his side. He's brought into the angle, takes a pot shot, not far from Magic's shoulder. A little bit of a haircut, but it's all good. In the hood, Spirit needed that three found. And up here doing, round. yeah, very good job of like clawing that one back and making it a competitive round right there. They've looked fantastic, seven to their name. Obviously we are talking about the situation with Team Spirit. They're the underdog, they're the team that we're getting to witness against tier one opponents for the first time in a bit of a while. So this scenario, getting the bomb down, making it a two on one situation there to close out. Nort could have even potentially gotten more. Not too bad, not too bad whatsoever as the buy will come back on through. AWP still in the hands of Nork. They can invest no dramas. There's residual cash for res. So the flow on effects, if they were to lose this round, not the end of the world, but they need to find damage. And that is balance. He's jumped out the window. Might be able to disrupt with an early pick here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Molly kind of hindering what he could achieve out of that. Look at the T side. The aliens coming in a little bit quicker than I thought. We have ready on the other side. Okay, so Sunday Young tucked towards Dark over there. We still have Chopper towards CT. The last bit of util from Chopper comes out. That's the smoke towards Ramp. That buys a little bit of time. Oh, the stack! We've got the sticker in the air bug. Yeah, it's That's still exciting. around. Exciting. Oh, I didn't know this still existed. It's a fun one. <laughs> So this execute is set up and they're just waiting for that ramp smoke to clear before they go. Another smoke will land now. There's no rush and no information has been taken from Team Spirit across the board. Passive towards window, jump spotting towards B. I've always wanted to get that molly right as well. Can we have a look at the palace one again? So he, what's, he just put himself to the second pillar and then you just do a little run throw or a walkie throw. Oh, this could Ooh, be everything. Walkie push. The rotate from Idis Balance is coming as well. Oh, they're doing all the mollies onto the site here. This is going to be a picture-perfect execute from NIP, but no one's home. And here comes the spray. The counter is perfect. Jiggles to bay. The spray's not good enough. Rez has saved the day. And NIP can th just thrust themselves into the site. Beautiful. Take there towards ramp and the spray, yes, as said. Slightly poor. Love the aggression towards CT as well. It was an aggressive and controlling a hit from the T-side NIP. You can't ask for much more from that, even with everything that was going against him with that ramp progression. Yeah, I first saw those type of uh, boosts coming out to throw utility from flip side. We're going back a couple of years when Blade was still playing. And if you do all the Molotovs, you're getting one behind the firebox, one under the balcony. You get a Molotov towards the sandwich position. The smokes are great. They're on top of stairs. that's covering off jungle as well as CT. And that's just the flashbangs and clearing close. And well, they cleared close. They made it work. and. Team Spirit, only three rounds here. I said that they probably needed nine, considering the woes that we have seen on their T side. NIP are making sure that's not a possibility. They're looking for nine of their own, and they're looking set to do it. It's just Idis Bounce on the AWP. He's invested, uh, well, his lifetime into it was, that all. Yeah, it was you know? Inferno overpass the last two, and then IP chose overpass. Over, uh, overpass is the final map. Yeah, yeah I do okay. believe so, because we started on Team Spirit's map choice. Hey, okay, bingo, bango. Just balance reveals there is an AWP in play. Only Deagles to hold them at bay. Molotov for SDY. This balance does have a prime position. Oh, he spots one. But he caught in transition. Hampus again with a huge impact frag. That's the AWPer down. And he's just opened up the site. Come and get him, boys. Love. Get him while it's wow. hot. Hampus delivers a quad kill in a matter of seconds. He can even ace it. Chopper denies. But the round is over. So, Swamp. Later on. I'm down for some uh, more times, I don't right? think I'll do gaming today. We're doing the, the outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, we, yeah but I mean, after, in the evening. Yeah, I'm absolutely you know. available. I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to make sure that's... You, yeah, but I just want to make sure that's well uh, known. She was making eye contact with me, Chad. Well, I thought it was a collective invitation. Well, I thought Rush would have been invited as well. Oh, well Rush, Rush is always probably. invited, but I know he'll say no. Oh, he'll play. Danger Zone. No, no, well, I don't know. Anyone want to play Danger Zone tonight? 
Getting Sirocco, Black Sight. I love a bit of Sirocco, me. Shut up. Josh, we can do our Sunday night Danger Zone date again this week if you want. Yeah, I would love to. Okay. I would definitely love to. I was very tired last week. I'm sorry. I'll try to be in, in better stead this time. That's okay. No worries. Was he, was he doing any of those vertical bumps? No, no he's not done a virtual blunder in quite a long I was time, just, actually. I was just like, Rush was saying where they were, and I couldn't compute. I was just yeah. like, I couldn't focus on anything. And I, just not there. Sometimes he has all the calls out, and it is just a little overwhelming. He's like, yeah, just saw one Shaq, but watch out for top radio. And I'm like, you need to learn the names. The bloody hell's going on, Dan. You know I'm printing us out a calendar. I'll, I'll get you a Danger Zone map and I'll show you all the okay, names. Okay, so yeah, Tower, Radio, Shack. You know where, do you know where Scout Town is? Scout Town. Also known as Medina. No, isn't that in Malta? Yeah, but that's what we called it on uh, Sirocco, so. <laughs> okay, this is, this is beyond acceptable. Aiming. Oh, man. 13. Good luck, mate. Here we go. Ida's balance, mirror in mid. They're up, cat. Let's have a look. Oh, the timing. Just jumps over it. That's nice for Mir, though. Big change of the start here. Good stuff for Team Spirit. They have to look at even the smaller victories. That one's not so small, but they need something here. Now, timing's everything. And it's swift from some die young. Very nice. Poor old Plopsky. He's com comrade in Nork. A lot of these rounds have been very much... Uh, Contrary to what we saw on Nuke, it was very, very much a down to the clutches. Most of these rounds have been pretty open and shut. And here is one for Team Spirit. Nork in that palace position, Chopper staring at him. SDY giving him nothing towards that jungle angle. So four, if I start painting the picture now that they get six, six right? Let's let's live in this world just let's for a second. Talk to me. So let's assume that Team Spirit are able to cleanly convert the next uh, two rounds after this one. So they go into the break with a 9-6 scoreline in the favor of the Ninjas. We go into their T-half. Bye-bye, Nork. They win the pistol round. Team Spirit have grabbed that one, so they put themselves quickly up to seven. They're able to convert against the force by of NIP. They're up to eight. NIP go for another half by scenario on their CT side. We're now 9-9. Nine, nine. We go into the first gun round. NIP's money's not looking great. Spirit take the lead, right? That is a world that we could live in, but they need to convert the next two rounds cleanly. And NIP have looked really quite clean themselves. So the Ninjas will be able to get the full buyout once more. They've been rocking this almost the entire game through. And now towards middle they go. Quickly up cat could be the play. They might take advantage of the fact they're getting a lot of room over to this side of things. SDY might have something to say about that. And now that Mir's in position towards catwalk, Life will get more difficult. Just is he ready for Hampus to be just around the corner? 14 kills the name. Some day young and I disbalances input. It's certainly been noted as alongside with Mir, of course. Doing some decent work in the last couple of rounds. That's a start Huge. though. Hampus just slides on in. Mir though, right, right back at him. Mir has been ever present. That play towards kind of posting himself up on that pole really did help earlier. Certainly. Where's his position does hold a lot of weight in this round. Look at the push from Chopper. He's taken so much info towards A. He doesn't actually need to clear towards the ramp. They'll just operate under the assumption that is open. And as he goes on this fact-finding mission, it will be about timing. How much will NIP take while he is grabbing all of this? And oh, he's gonna have a fight here. Did not Plopsy saw him. Yeah, the fact he stopped and swings, finds the head, and all that information now redundant. Rez is even flashing on A. He's trying to make it look different, and it is working. They're even gonna hit it. Just balance up to the plate. Oh, he's not deep enough. He could hang around. Thinks better of it. No flash is thrown. Oh, Magic just took down Twist Planning through the smoke. That is ridiculous. No. That's going to slow them down. they got 24 seconds. Lauren Hampus to step up. Plopsky to oh. stop. The Molotov isn't going to buy them enough time. So NIP do set themselves up into the after plan. Okay, this retake's still got potential. Two kits in play, a couple of flashes, smoke and an aid, but they need this kill. And that's going to be Magic called upon, and he's been great. Oh, the, f oh, the knife switch but Mir's there. flanking. Mir's coming. Plopsky's aware. Mir. Oh, but Plopsky's attention's been turned. He's more worried about his balance. Oh, no! He, oh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a fumble. And now disbalance. You've got too many things to deal with, and that could have been brilliant from Mir if he just got it right. Yeah, that right there was the round, and unfortunately, Spirit will be dropping down to 10 rounds against their name here, and, well, look, five. We oh. can still paint the picture if you want to be a Spirit fan. That was the kill from Magix onto the planter, and this was a good one, not expecting another. Having enough time to pivot, turn around, only 73 health, so not much damage done. You can paint the picture, Chad, yeah. if they get five. 
but I want you to put your watercolors away if they don't, and then IP win the piss. Okay. What would you like me to paint with then? Uh, we'll just start painting with uh, the discussion as to how great NIP are and how uh, that's when we, we pivot and just stop talking about the potential, but SDY is definitely full of it. A double kill, and the incendiary is going nice. exactly the right direction. Nork's already caught a bullet, disbalance burns as SDY with another. Poor old Plopski. This round over as quickly as it begun. Balance tags him up, Plopsky dunked on by Mir. So the five is there. Keep your paints out for now because the picture certainly is not completely filled in. A nice frame though, NIP are set for success. 10 on the defense, they'll head over to the attack now and it'll be time for Team Spirit to show us what they've got on that T side. at the half in the favor of NIP. Looking hot to trot today on their map pick. 16 kills to new in-game leader Hampus. He even had six multi-kill rounds in that first half. So a lot of impact being felt and he continues to impress. We're going to be kicking things off here. We're joined by Machine and Lauren Pansy Scott. Yeah, um, I was really enjoying the Spanish version of Sarah that chat has now made. They've, they've translated, they've really adapted, they've overcome hurdles. I love it. There's been some bangers today, some it, songs I haven't heard before. Yeah, this so. is new, new playlist. You weren't lying, I would definitely enjoy by the end of it. And what I might enjoy is this pistol. Magic's being propped up on a little pedestal, P250 and a bit of armor, chopper with the util, flash to be put into play, pop, and we go. So Hampus, oh, that was swift, but so was that. Answer right back, but the site is the tease. 
Okay, well, the trades are coming in. They've taken control of the window room. Mia yeah, is like absolutely that. pivotal in this, and it is an open plant towards Connector. He's even going for the fast flank. Mia, he wants to disrupt this before it can get started. Oh, that's going to put a little bit of fear on them, but he has to it right back around. So Magic's now once again called upon. The cross will be held, I think, by Mia. Potentially. Oh, that's lush work. Get out of here. Swing again. Cool, have another go. I know you're not meant to, but here we are. Another nade comes in. Still stands. The maid, man's made of steel at this point as Twist and Nork. Oh, Mia's in a gorgeous position. This is a really nice pistol overall. Unlosable, yeah. really? Yep. Beautiful. I mean, that was despite their best efforts. You're, you're bang on there, Chad. They got, like, everything that NIP wanted, they had. They had all their trades on the tees that were entering into the site. They didn't get caught out by Mia's flank, and still Team Spirit had very little margin for uh, for failure. There was very little chances of that going wrong. Yeah, and Magic's had two big shots here. So this here will be the first. One. Look at that. First Ooh. bullet, Hampus goes down. I was just talking about his impact. This trade from Mir was fantastic. And this is one here, it's just a cheeky little, hello, who's home? Bang. Right, and away. He's done his job at that point because the plant was for these two connector players. All he had to do by staying alive was meant that there had to be attention drawn in multiple different angles. And well, NIP back with the double dip deagle. So the reason I say the double dip is because they have enough money, a residual cash to go for a similar star buy in the following. Dip, duck, dive, and deag. I like that. I, I would bullet. like to call this round the double dip deagle though. Can we double dip, can we double, dip, three... double dip deagles? What was that, sorry? Double dip. Double dip deagle. D double dip God. deagles. Yeah. Yeah, get that in the Definitely want to make sure you correct. make it really double clear. Yeah. Double dip. dip. You don't want to mess up those Ds. No. Oh. What an exchange towards connector. Sometimes it sounds like Danes mess up their Ds, but it turns out like, you know, Anders is actually how you're supposed to say Anders' name. Yeah. Danes just swallow the D. They're weird with their language, aren't they? Yeah, they can do it with the potato in the mouth, you know? Precisely a hot one at that. Mm. Ooh, goo, goo, goo. <laughs> Double deeg. Not quite enough to convert. Twist does find a nice one. Bit luggy Ooh. there. Spamming away. Hide that Galil, my friend. Or just swap them over. That works too. So they've postured now. Once they've taken territory, just sitting to wait, see if there's any more aggression from NIP. But if they let the clock whittle too far, we can see on the radar, we have Plopsky and Nork over towards the B side of things. And these two potent individuals could shut it down. Rez is also going to take the gamble stack and chopper. Or he's going for a bit of a money man, trying to see if he can find anything with his Mac 10. There's one with the back turned, and it should open the door towards A. So this is safe. If they went towards B, they would have been in strife, potentially losing the round. And now NIP have to consider, well, Plopsky, Nork, do we just hold on to what we have? We can take it into next round. And yeah, that looks like it'll be the call. So planting the bomb nice. safe. There'll be no death from Catwalk here today. Magix is also looking over towards short just to make sure that uh, they can't scavenge that Galil. And everything should be good. Yeah. dory That's the one. What's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to know? Hey! Maybe later. Oh, dear. So I did that Balamori. thing, Alex. Balamori. I was not into I it. I really, I watched it a lot with my sister. She was a big fan of it. Was she younger than you? Yes. Okay, so that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, yeah. On the CBBs. Chadney, you had something. I did that thing. What's up? And I need someone who's very experienced in doing that thing to tell me what he would do in this this time. Oh gosh, oh. it's vague already. I'm lost. Go. I didn't charge my phone overnight. <gasps> oh, how do you how do you live? Can like I, I get so nervous. Chad is living a new life, and I don't think we have a mobile phone sponsor, so I can tell you. I've converted many to the OnePlus one way of life. Yeah. Yeah. And with this new patented warp charge, you don't you so can get just... a, a day's power in half an hour. So all I'm saying is but we're not going back to the hotel. Yeah. After work. What's your percentage at right now? I'm gonna, Ten. I'm gonna throw the cable out. Uh, Plug that in. So oh. there's an app that my friend, my friend did this review on the worst rated apps on the App Store. Sure. Uh, which double dip deagles. The, the double dip deagles. The, the the second part to it, of course, if it gets excited, we we'll jump to it. But there's a an app you can download. If you're on one percent, you can talk to other people. Or it's like under ten oh, percent. I've 10%. seen that. So you yeah. just have this like you know we're all going down oh. with the ship sort of situation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan. But yeah, we'll see if the deeks work out this time. If there's more damage to be done, of course. Last time, how much did they get? Maybe two kills. I think it was uh, just the one. I'm not one sure. Kill. if They found one on the way out the door because we no, were talking about. So. We were talking about phones and... Yeah, jibbly wibblies. I just plugged mine in before my shower, Lauren. By the time I'm out... I can't. I, I have to plug it in at night. I get too oh. nervous that it'll die and then I'll miss my alarm. Oh, and man. That would, oh, you might be late. I don't worry about that stuff. I'm very anxious. Very anxious. 
Yes. Uh, but we do see the Deagle still in the right place. Three players, of course, for the CT still by eight. This is really nice. The CT smoke just landed at ramp as they threw their first towards jungle. So they either have to disrespect it or wait. And while well, Chopper's given them a way in. Rez found initially. They do respect the ramp smoke, and it gives a chance for ooh, Hampus to hit Lots a hard damage. D. They are inflicting good damage. Chad's right. This is not one to be forgotten. Hampus puts SDY on notice. Tags up onto Disbalance as well. This is unarmored Deagles until now. Plopsky with a recovered AK and the oh, Kevlar the vest. He's got a real shot here, Lauren. Okay, he oh gets on the first, goes back. Oh. He did get one for his troubles, and any damage done? Oh, not too much. Nork. Keeps it quiet. They're not really facing this way right now. They're both looking towards Connector until I think Disbalance just turned towards CT. Ow. My God! If he hit that second, I'd have lost my mind. But no, Magix keeps control. And no, it's not a pretty one there, but we'll take it. It's eight to 10. Now we've seen this before for Spirit. Pistol rounds can be picked up. We've seen that in the past. It's the gun rounds we worry about. Yeah, well, we saw that full by conversion stats outlined previously as to how they're determined from Mr. Chad Birchall, an SCOR statistician. Statistician? This has a hard one. Statistician. Thank you. Statistician. Yeah. Um, I still don't feel, that doesn't feel right. Uh, regardless, SEO, otherwise known as Ben. Um, yeah, we've outlined why, but 38% was the stats against full buys, and already they've lost one of their players. Nor got tagged for four damage. Yeah, a, a classic. Four damage. It was either an AK, AK bullet, bullet through the wall or I disbalance. He hasn't shot an all bullet. So it definitely wasn't I disbalance. I love this. Nort gets the opening and he's in a completely different position. So while they're searching for him, wondering if he's hanging around window, we can see he's elsewhere. And oh, we might actually get a heads up duel. No, never mind. Smoke grenade makes that an this impossibility. This is 2020, Chad. There's always a flash, a nade, a smoke, a molly, something before that duel is taken. Oh, look at this. They're setting this molly up so he can pick behind it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, and Plopsky was ready still. Always alert. The Swedes have taken the advantage in this one. Now gobbling up a flashbang. SDY unable to contribute as the smoke fades. It'll be Magic's bringing the bomb over. If they were to find a gap, and there is one, it's twist tucked in though, and that's such a hard angle to flush out. You're so vulnerable to the potential get right CT angle as well. 50 seconds, two on five. It's around that perhaps on Nuke, we would have had a little more faith in spirit. We've seen what they're capable of, but yeah, look at that. Perfect jiggle for the info. Twist reveals his position and gets himself the necessary double. So this is where NIP can run away with the game. Team Spirit don't have a lot of money left over and they had a fantastic first half, did the Ninjas. So if they can now, the weapons are back on out. Flex on over Spirit. They could look to shut this one down quite quickly. And this was uh, some of the problems we were talking about with Spirit in the past was their slow default. It was very strung out across the map. They would take their time. I think some of the guys there in the land cafe in the middle of the screen. And uh, with it being strung out and slow, they would just get whittled down. They would even lose rounds by timeout. And it didn't feel hugely impressive. NIP, a team coached by threat. They'll be well and truly versed in the fact that they can hold on to the utility. This is the bomb. Thank you very much. I'll take that immediately. Your little ploy to fake us out towards B and then go to a plant towards A. That's not going to work. So reconsider your options, Spirit. As, uh, I think that little spin from Magic says it all. The concept that they were going for there was fake either down connector, down underpass towards window, draw some rotations, or go to on the B bomb site, see if they can get on out, get onto the bomb site. But here now that the bomb is down with two players, two CTs sitting on top of it like it is their precious little egg. Mm. They never say Humpty Dumpty's an egg, do they? Mm. Where Humpty Dumpty was about something sad, they all well, are. They never specified that he was a, an, an egg-like and anthropomorphic figure. Well, they were in the books. He would look like an egg. Some pictures, certainly, yeah. but they, like it's never vocalized. I imagine perhaps that was just to kind of tell the story yeah. to children, <sighs> but it might have been about. So apparently, Humpty Dumpty was actually a large cannon that fell off a castle uh, parapet and shattered. So that's why oh. all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, he's, maybe he wasn't an egg. Maybe he's just egg for Humpty the... was never an egg. You found Apparently. it out today. The conspiracy theory. I knew it. <laughs> I should have told you. Oh, they're going fast. It's going to be quick on A. Hampus and Rez to receive. Oh, he just tucked in in time. But already the pre-fire SDY was ready to clear it. Nork does well to contribute something wild through the smoke. And Nade as well won't do much. But Rez, Rez can do it all. He's got behind two of them. And a quick adjustment does take down Chopper. 
Not out of the woods yet. Disbalance, a smoke towards the CT position will force Propsky into the line, but they had a flash and he can convert both. Magix is gone and so is the round 13. Found for the ninjas in pajamas. And stat you outlined at the start, feeling quite true now, isn't it? It's uh, looking worrying. And then of course, that aside, credit to NIP. This is a good map from them. Really nice veto to put them into this position, coming into the game clearly with the right idea in mind. Nuke was a great reminder of what Spirit can do in the right scenario, but this isn't it. NIP taking the ball by the horns, and this is theirs now. Right into the gun rounds, looking strong. Well, for the last two rounds prior, they kept great deals alive. This one, I think, was it three then at the end? Something around that marker. Yeah, three survivors. So yeah. money is is gorgeous. 9K, 7K, 9K. They're, they're happy with that. And obviously on the other side, Chad, it's not nice. Yeah, it's not ideal whatsoever here for Team Spirit as... Some deagles will come out. They seem to, it was just crazy for me to say this about a CIS team because I had to play the CIS teams back in the day on this map and uh, they were always very proficient at Mirage. What they would do is they could just limp out. They would take individual fights and duels to get openings. Obviously Team Spirit are trying to be a little bit more of a team uh, in that regard, in the sense of they want to be working together, flashing for each other, opting to uh, just like this, flash for each other, be a good buddy. As it hasn't netted SDY any chance for a frag, but potentially a late round swing. Mir onto Rez. Now that's opened a door. This is where SDY's position could become dangerous. Okay, yeah. Bobski clears it out, and NIP can take a big sigh. I don't know if he spotted the bomb, but Magic's firing off a warning shot all the same. Mir's position still wants to rotate around. Chopper's got to be careful here. He's knife out. Okay, actually gets the information for free. We'll force Hampus back. So things are starting to... Go relatively like well here with Disbalance catching him. I thought he had a chance. Does bring him down to three. Oh, oh a missed shot from Nork. A chance to reposition, perhaps even hunt down Hampus. Magic's in a bit of a spot of bother here. And the duel from Plopsky losing out. There's a chance for Spirit. Minimal, but a chance. Oh. Oh. What's going on? They're almost directionless as Nork has just played it so well. Pressure found early, but still kept to check. Chopper could do something. Hampus and Twist are low. Nork is the kind of final destination for him. And it will be death as the option three alive again for the CTs. Hampus is doing great work. Look, there's 20 kills to his name. Fantastic stuff from the in-game leader. I highlighted in the first half he had uh, 16 kills. And six multi-kills. Nork is coming alive with the orb. Oof. With a bit of impact here and just finishing off the last one of Chopper. Easy as you like. 14 rounds now on the board. And this one is trickling away, just like map number one did. Yeah, this time in the alternative direction does set us up quite nicely for our third. Each team winning their map pick. What is this? I just found has to find a pick here. If we're looking for an avenue in, they are a little bit quicker towards middle to apply pressure. Twist has taken a lot of damage over towards B. This is a big fight. Reds thinks better of sticking around, and for the troubles, Tropa drops down to 50 points of health. So, is the slow posture towards middle. Oh, look how many they're getting over to fight here. Everyone's around window. This is going to be a brawl. It's going to be a biff. Yeah, as the smoke fades, they want to fight. Gap for Plopsky confirms there's not too much in his line of sight. That was a strange rotation, and now that's just, they've thought better of it. I thought they were just going to come window and get ready to brawl NIP, but not to be. Oh, did the vent just break with the nade? If the if the vent just broke with the nade, they might not actually clear out Plopsky's position in window. Waiting for something to really give us a glimmer. This round, those late round hits really did enamor us before, and I don't think they're going to again. One by one, feeding through. Idis Balance had a wonderful performance on the previous map, this time unable to muster something similar. And that AWP is being evacuated from the building. Bear in mind, Plops, he's quite close. He's not necessarily going to be doing too much right now, but he can certainly lock the player in. Get him after time. Really, really oh, make it hurt, NIP. On, after time, let, him, let it tick on down and then kill him. That's the best way to go about this. This is gonna suck for disbalance. Unless they all run Wait. past him. Unless they all run past him. Nobody looking. Why is he taking the shot? He oh gets away. God. I can't believe that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see a single way out. Oh dear. But he just went full oh predator mode. That is wild. That is that's that is funny right that's there. That's cheeky. Okay. 
I want to see it from their perspective. He even gets a kill. What the hell? He's cowing in his head. Five, four, three, two, and there's the one. Just oh gets it. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, well, the AWP is in play. They're all down to the goose egg, but having that weapon in play keeps them competitive and potentially the final round of the second map of the first series of our 11th day of play. No, it's the 10th, isn't it? 10th on the 11th. That's how it works. All right, let's see what Spirit have got. Can they keep this game alive, or is this one in IPs? Their choice, of course. Oh, the heals just being caught. Rez does make it out alive, though, and I just found trying to be as vital as he can be with this all. Good nade damage, though, coming in from short. That's going to be gifted across by Plopski. He's going to be happy with that. Flash in, I just found blind falls away, but Mir ready to catch and does exactly that. He used so much utility early. Well, at least that's what we've noted in other gun rounds here from Spirit, just to get territory. And now that they don't have a lot to work with, they realize the frags have to be the 4A. But once again, not being greeted with a lot. They've left A completely open. And I appear reading this one well. It doesn't feel like there's too many rounds left in this. No, this might be the final round of play. It's certainly out of, not out of the realms of possibility, despite the one-man advantage. Bomb recovered. Potentially. <laughs> I've done that. Oh dear. Potentially the last round of play. <laughs> and with 30 seconds left, they are walking to a Hampus, the only man who's been very influential so far, and he's doing a lot of ambitious maneuvers, this time caught out by the placement of disbalance. So this might just be NIP conceding. They've got so much cash to splash. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to make it a little more costly. You don't want to let the T start to nurture a comeback. And well, they may not have a choice. Taking it by force. All the frags favoring Team Spirit. Rez will recover an AWP and Kawa in the apartments. But take a look at that. Disbalance with two frags on with a weapon he wouldn't have otherwise had. So this is a, a start, but I'm not going to get hugely excited just yet. We've seen the woes that Spirit have had in the gun rounds. You just take a look at the right-hand side of your screen, everybody playing at home. See those green numbers under the players' names? Yeah, that's a lot. That's more than enough for them to get a buy going. So with only one more round needed, NIP have everything they require to get it done in the following. If they don't, there'll be enough for a buy in the next. And at that point... If they've lost a couple in a row, we can start getting talk. Uh, we can start talking about it because double digits will be on the board. But for now, it just isn't. This feels like a matter of time. If I'm being completely honest, which I try to be. Oh, he's scratching his uh, scratching his hand with his chin. What? <laughs> Nothing. I was just trying it out. I wanted to see how it felt. How did it feel? Pretty good. Nice. Got a scour on my chin, basically. I have a soft beard, Lauren. Don't worry about that. I was terrified, panicked, worried. All of the above. All right, back in we go. Looks like an eight crunch coming in. Nort can be forced to fire after a touch of damage does come through. As Rez waiting quite patiently in the deeper angle towards window. T's have, however, Hello. taken a bit of control, but talking of control, look at this. Hello, that's a bomb. All right, that's quite nice for Hampus. Even falls away, though, to maybe check towards Palace, but the call's been made and not. Oh, Hampus had such Ooh. a powerful option. He wasn't ready for them to just walk out disrespect through the connector. SDY on Topolovsky. He's low, and he's even lower now, six feet lower. Twist the one to bury him. And that's the end of that. 16 to 9, folks. First set game of the day goes to three.